I can't even find myself among these Trader Joe's brown bags. I spent $217 at Trader Joe's and here is what I bought. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Ming on my channel. I do a variety of lifestyle videos. Today's video is going to be a Trader Joe's haul with taste test. Before you start, like and subscribe and check out my other Trader Joe's food reviews. I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit closer. There we go. So you can see me better. I can see you better. It's the Trader Joe's Daily Facial Sunscreen. This is their Broad Spectrum SPF 40. This is a chemical sunscreen, which means it actually has chemical reactions with the UV lights on your skin. Usually I go for the mineral sunscreen, which Trader Joe's actually has one. But recently I've been using chemical sunscreen. Mineral sunscreen is a little bit more stable, but it leaves a white cast. Sometimes it actually prevents me from actually using sunscreen. But sunscreen is so important to use every single day to prevent skin cancer. This one, it says it's oil-free, invisible gel formula, fragrance-free, water and sweat resistance for 40 minutes. So I've seen a lot of online reviews and they all said this is really good. It's about like $8. It's so much cheaper than the sunscreen at Sephora, which is like $40, $38. It's usually really light, but chemical sunscreen is not as stable. Some people are sensitive to it. Actually, a gel formula, matte finished. It just looks like this. <gasps> wow. And then it, of course, there's no Y cast, and, and it feels like a silicone based sun. It almost feels like a face primer. I think your foundation will just go really, really easily on top. So, this is a must buy, guys. I'm a skincare junkie as well. I reviewed a lot of skincare products from Sephora as well. Um, I don't make a lot of videos about them anymore, but I love this. Highly recommend. A new item, and I love croissant. Um, super, super sweet, a lot of sugar in there, but I just really wanted to try it. And also, it's Valentine's Day. Okay, this is what I think. I went to the store, I was like, why are there so many new candy items? Is it Halloween again? But apparently every single holiday has been a sweet holiday. Christmas has become a sweet holiday, and then Valentine's Day is a sweet holiday, Easter is a sweet holiday, uh, Halloween, Thanksgiving becomes more sweet, like apple pies, and then Christmas again. This is a new Trader Joe's Raspberry Croissant Curry. Curry. So guys, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna put it in the oven for like five minutes for the extra, extra deliciousness. Let's try out this croissant with a raspberry filling. Oh, I love that. Though it has a lot of sugar, it's somewhat... Do you guys hear this? It's somewhat missing approved. Whoa, the texture is so good. You have to put it in the oven before you try it. Like, it cuts into it's so flaky. It's so good, guys. And I think it's soft in the inside. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, this is actually, it looks like heaven right here. If you're into sweets, this may be the one to go. Okay, it has a lot of raspberry filling. It's time to do the taste test. We are gonna taste test this. Wow, it looks so good. The crust is so flaky. Mmm, the fillings are so good. I don't have anything to criticize on this. I may have to give it 10 out of 10. It tastes like it's from like a super fancy bakery shop. It doesn't taste like this is from like a grocery store. It tastes like from a bakery, like pastry store. If you buy this item, make sure you put it in the oven for five minutes. It's so good because like the texture just got so much better. It doesn't, it tastes like super fresh. It's like fresh from the bakery. Love that raspberry filling, flaky and buttery on the crust. So good, 10 out of 10. Highly recommend, this is a must buy. I feel like this is better than what's like the best of 2024. This is better and this is new. Mm. Ta-da, we'll definitely put a little um, taste test insert here. So this one is, I think it's relatively new. How come, how come I've never seen? This is the garlic shiitake green beans. This is green beans in a garlic shiitake mushroom sauce. So I like green beans. It's not my favorite vegetables, but I like to change what I eat every, from time to time. So this one is not particularly healthy because it has soy and oil in there. I think it's because the shiitake sauce has a lot of soy products, so um, I think the manufacturer was like, let's just put soybean oil in there because it's cheap also. But soybean oil and the soybeans are different because the processing of soybean oil is not necessarily the best as 
highly processed. Hey guys, let's try the Trader Joe's garlic shiitake green beans. So we put it in the skillet, salted over medium heat for four minutes, then cover, increase the heat for, to high, salt it for one additional minute. This is the nutrition facts, and this is the ingredients. Oh, a thousand milligrams of sodium. This is a high sodium food. All right, guys, here is the shiitake green beans. This is what it looks like. It actually smells very garlicky. It kind of smells like an Asian flavor, like something that you would eat from like a Chinese restaurant. It kind of tastes like that soy sauce with garlic flavor. Maybe a little bit of the umami scent from the mushroom. Here, let's try out the green beans. It smells very salty. It is so salty, but it's full of flavor. Super good flavor. You can taste the umami flavor, which is like a nice savory flavor from the mushrooms. I don't think this has super strong shiitake mushroom flavor, but you can tell there's like some flavor from the mushrooms. And I just taste so much garlic. It's there's so much garlic flavor. It's not mushy at all. It has a nice crunch, but it's fully cooked. It's pretty soft, but crunch at the same time. You know what you should do? You should buy some shiitake mushrooms and then add the shiitake mushrooms to this dish. Or not even a shiitake mushroom, like regular mushrooms. Just saute some mushrooms first and then put these in and it will flavor it all. It will also dilute the salt a little bit. Um, but I think the flavor is really good. Super, super garlicky, very savory, very salty, very nice umami flavor from the shiitake mushroom. I think overall I will give this item 8.5. I would definitely repurchase this again. And next time I'll add some mushrooms before I add this back and to dilute it. And I think it will taste really good. You can also saute some ground pork or ground chicken or ground beef first and then you will add a little bit of protein and you can also add tofu to it. There's so many ways of eating it. You can also put some like tofu sheets in there to saute together. The flavor profile is very similar to Chinese restaurant. I do really like it. It's kind of like tastes like restaurant bought takeout. But love that. It's actually really good buy. 8.5. I do recommend. One. This is also the first time I purchased this. I think I've seen this before, but I never got around to actually try it. But you can actually smell it from outside of the bag. I was like, damn, it smells good. This is the Trader Joe's Fire Roasted Bell Peppers and Onions. It smells just like the Fire Roasted Bell Peppers and Onions. The ingredients are super clean. There's no oil in there whatsoever. This is really good as a side dish for tacos as well. So we're gonna try this one. So we're gonna try this Trader Joe's Fire Roasted Bell Pepper and Onions. We're gonna coat the pan with 100% pure avocado oil spray. This is the cooking instruction. It says heat it on high, uncover for two to three minutes, stir the products thoroughly. Just a little bit of ice here. Already, it's done. Already, it's done. Let's try this out. It has nice char. It's a little bit watery. I think it's from the actual like vegetables and also from the ice, probably from the back. It's not seasoned at all. You need to put your own seasoning. So I'm gonna put some um, Costco chicken crumbles from Amy Lou. I added the Costco Amy Lou chicken crumbles and this is what it looks like. The chicken crumbles are pretty flavored, so it's pretty salty already. So I didn't add any additional salt and this is how I would cook this item. You can also put some Trader Joe's meatballs, put some salt and pepper. The actual fire roasted peppers are not seasoned, so you need to season yourself. And there are different creative ways of cooking this item with beef or with chicken or with tofu. I think it's pretty good and it's so convenient and so easy. Apparently bananas are rated as the top Trader Joe's fan favorites in 2024. Well, it's rated based on last year, right? But that was like the list from this year. I was like, what? You can literally buy it from any other stores, but whatever. I got a bananas because my, my kid loves it. I got a lot of this. So this is the blueberry lemonade. Purposely, I tried it. It actually tastes like blueberry. It has like a nice berry taste and a little bit of lemonade, like citrusy flavor. I love the Trader Joe's sparkling water. It's like $3.49, um, $3.49 for eight of these. It's a pretty good price. The raspberry lime flavor. And we got the cranberry clementine flavor. The, cl the cranberry clementine is my favorite. This is the third time I repurchased this. One of my previous flavors favorite is actually the green apple but for some reason they were out like out out from all of the stores and i hope it comes back because that's one of my favorite ones but i've ne actually never tried the raspberry lime i love the blueberry um the blueberry lemonade the cranberry clementine kind of tastes like 
orange with a little bit cranberry taste. The blueberry lemonade will taste like citrusy, a little bit berry taste. But let's see about this one. So I'm gonna actually try it right now because I'm thirsty. Ugh. I should probably put it in the fridge before I drink it, but there's no time for that. <laughs> Raspberry and lime, cheers. Mmm, it has a nice citrus flavor. I like it, it's so refreshing. The reason why I love to drink this water, this sparkling water from Trader Joe's is like, I felt like their flavoring is super refreshing. And it's just like, it tastes more natural than a lot of the other flavoring. But of course there's no juice in there, it's just natural flavors. That it's not always healthy to take, but that's okay. This bag. The first one, this is a repurchased item. I was gonna get, make a dedicated review video for you guys, but then I one day I came home, my husband already made it. And I was like, damn it, I was, I was trying to show people like the whole process. And so it's nicely seasoned, it's not super salty at all. I actually love the flavoring. However, it is a little bit on the drier side because first of all, it's hardwood smoked. Me, smoked chicken always tastes a little bit dry in terms of the texture compared to the like sous vide method of chicken. Second of all, it's white meat chicken. So it doesn't have a lot of fat. So of course it will naturally taste a little bit dry as well Last time I bought this pulled pork thinking about doing a review video guys I didn't even get to eat it myself because it expired the next day And I was telling my husband like let's go return this because technically it's not my fault It expired. There's only things that expires the exact next day. I know Trader Joe's they have really good return policy as well However, like San Antonio traffic has been so bad. We didn't even make it to Trader Joe's for a whole month I just didn't feel comfortable return something that a month after the expiration day so I didn't return it I should have but I didn't but so I so I repurchased this to do the review oh my gosh this is a new Trader Joe's item it's out just in time for Valentine's Day this is the Trader Joe's lip mask set it's like seven dollars for a set of two it has a chocolate lip mask and a berry lip mask and this is supposed to be like the dupe for like the Laneige lip mask one of the guys at checkout said that he heard that this one is the best lip mask in the market like it will heal your chapped lips like within like mint right away if your lips are so chapped you put it on you're like whoa so hydrated so it says it's made with shea butter coconut oil and vitamin c my lips have been so dry at night this is what the product looks like the packaging is it looks a little bit cheap compared to the Laneige one the packaging itself the plastic itself is super lightweight Oh, it smells just like chocolate. My fingers, and I'm gonna put it on. It's almost like a lip oil, actually. Mm, it's super rich. It tastes sweet, guys. I accidentally put some on my tongue. I can't taste it. It's so sweet. Ooh, it's delicious. It makes me want to eat it. It actually tastes delicious. Okay, I think this one, low-key, is better than the Laneige lip mask. For some reason, the Laneige lip mask, it's just not that hydrating to me. It's good, but I just don't understand the hype of it. Like, I like it, don't get me wrong. But is the Laneige one really worth $30? I would say yes and no because I like how it feels, but $30? It's way more rich. Can you guys see this? I like it. I actually like it. It's almost like a lip oil. It's so rich. I think I would recommend this one, guys. Like a little bit product goes super long way. This item will sell out so quickly. It's such a good Valentine's present. This is a must buy. I didn't try the berry one. It's probably the same, just different flavoring, but it tastes sweet. So much richer than the Laneige one. And it's so hydrating. Okay, this is the Trader Joe's Organic Sparkling Apple Cider Vinegar Beverage. I do not like apple cider vinegar, but this one actually tastes not bad at all. I saw a girl, she literally bought like 20 cans of these. It's $2 per can. That's how much she loves those. So this one is the elderberry and the pomegranate flavor. I want to push myself to drink more apple cider vinegar because it has certain benefits. It can't be the raw apple cider vinegar. It has to be a flavor like this. So I've tried it before. It contains 29% of the juice. I've tried it before on my channel and it tastes super refreshing. I like it. You can taste the apple cider, but you can also taste the juice. So that kind of masks the grossness of apple cider vinegar. So I actually love that. I think it's like seven dollars this is the trader joe's body butter fragrance free the body butter and finally they listened to the consumers and they gave out they came out a fragrance free version 
So Trader Joe's has a lot of body butter and I bought so many of them from Trader Joe's. They all have scent. I know the most population, like the crowd, actually are so obsessed with the scented ones, the scented body butter. I can understand that because every time I put any like scented body butter, I feel like, oh my gosh, I'm so smelling so good before going to bed. But it's not necessarily good for your skin. Like fragrance is so bad for your skin. It may sensitize your skin, develop certain allergies in the long run. And if you have eczema and stuff, it may irritate you right away. If you have the option to drop the fragrance, I will always try to opt for dropping the fragrance. You can just use the fragrance of your body butter and put some perfume on your pillow and smell good regardless. So this one literally has no fragrance. Let's try it. Oh, look, it's like, it's almost like a jelly. Like, do you see it? It's almost like a jelly. I know it's probably not very, very sanitary to do that. Whipped cream. So let's try it on my skin. Oh, it's so easily blendable, guys. It's so rich. It's literally buddy butter. It's not a lotion, it's not a cream, it's a butter. It's like so rich. This is really good if you have eczema or any skin irritations during winter seasons, grab yourself this one instead of the scented ones. I know the scented ones are more appealing, but they're not necessarily good for your skin. The dish soap! I love the Trader Joe's dish soap. This is like $2.99-ish. It's, it's plant-derived cleaning power. It's biodegradable, hypoallergenic. This one doesn't give you as much bubbles as like some of the dish soap that has like chemicals in there, but I love that and I love the um, scent. And this one is the lavender scent. I love it. I use it to wash my baby bottle and stuff and then sterilize them to cat food bags this is the only cat food my cats eat i also feed them wet food this is probably not the best ingredient ones but my cat loves the flavor there are better cat food out there but my cat loves dry food and i feed them wet food um three times two to three times a week organic rainbow cauliflower i actually got three bags of those because in the past i used to shop for two now i shop for three my eight month old baby is eating so Solid now, of course, he started eating solid like months ago, but he's actually eating a variety of solid food right now. So he loves the cauliflower because like it's very easy. Like I steam them in the steamer, and it's very easy to mash, um, mush, and put them in a the mush or mash them with his teeth. So I got three because I love them. My husband loves them. My baby loves them. The next one. Oh, the several next items. I'm actually gonna make a review video for these. Um, this is not the first time I tried it, but I honestly can't remember. I, I remember liking it, but I can't really remember. So this is also on the list of one of the fan favorite food from Trader Joe's. It's the Trader Joe's butter chicken. Trader Joe's actually has a variety of Indian food and they all actually taste pretty good. My husband loves Indian food. One time he actually bought every single Trader Joe's Indian food. He was like, let's make a video reviewing every single Indian food at Trader Joe's. And I was like, oh, that's a great idea. But um, I was pregnant back then. And for some flavors, some curry flavors, it just gives me, makes me nauseous. It does have canola oil in there. I'm like, what? Please. Um, I wish they used coconut oil. It would have been so much better. So I was like, Jen, I wish there was more chicken, but it's not an expensive food item. So I kind of get it. A nine, nine pieces of chicken, but some of them are super small, like so small. Actually, it tastes so good. The sauce is so creamy, it's so good. Such a good flavor for the rice. I don't know if it's worth to be number one on the list, but it's so good. I would definitely repurchase it. Yeah, it's not super spicy, but it has a little bit of heat, which is great. And it's not super strong of the spice flavor, but at the same time, very flavorful for the rice. And the chicken is actually really nicely flavored. 8.5. I wish there was a little bit more chicken. That's my only complaint. Um, this is also rated as Trader Joe's fan favorite. This is the Trader Joe's hash browns shredded potatoes. So we're gonna put this in our video, like reviewing Trader Joe's fan favorites. So this one, the hash browns, it's also not miss being approved. So it says ingredients, potato vegetable oil, which it con contains soybean oil and or canola oil. So these are actually like two of the worst oil that you could use. But well, I would rather pay more for the avocado oil version. So I feel like maybe they could have two versions of this, one with a cheaper for oil, one with avocado oil, depending on which one you're more comfortable spending money for. What I did was I put it in the air fryer at 400 for eight minutes. It's so much quicker and so much crispy, crispier with better texture. Second of all, on the package it says, season it however you want before you eat it. We didn't season it because we want to taste what it tastes like on its own before we do anything to it. What do you think of the flavor? 
Tastes like potatoes. Tastes like a McDonald's hash brown. Just less greasy. Way less greasy. Is the Trader Joe's Greek yogurt plain. So I bought it last time. I was gonna give it to my baby, but then like my husband also ate it. This one is plain, made with whole milk. It has no ad additives, has no added sugar. It's the best, but it's not organic. I wish it's organic, but it's not. My husband has been super, super, super into shakes these days again. So this is a Trader Joe's unsweetened organic acai pa packet. These ones are the best. Best. It's four dollars for four packs. So this one has no added sugar. The ingredients are just acai puree and the citric acid to maintain the color. So the acai fruit it has naturally has more fat and not a lot of carbs. So it's actually really, really, really good. So like if you love acai bowls, get the unsweetened ones. I know you if you're used to the sweetened ones, you may not get used to it at the beginning, but it's just so good. It has so much flavor and texture to your yes. shit. This is my all-time favorite, the Trader Joe's Lemony Arugula Basil salad kit i was gonna get two or three however this one i looked in the entire shelf it says all of them are best used before january 28th today is january 26th so it literally expires in two days and all of these packs are expired in two days so i was like okay i have to eat it tomorrow or something so what i've noticed is that sometimes when i bought things from trader joe's they are not expired but they're very close to expiration um I don't know how to feel about this. I also got one of my favorite salad, which is the Trader Joe's Barbecue Black Pepper Toscano Salad. I ate a bunch of this when I was pregnant. It just hits all the points. The dressing is not super healthy because it also has like canola oil in there, which is not the best oil, but I love it. And this one expires January 31st, so technically in five days. The cornbread croutons, the cheese, and this is the sauce. I'll just put two thirds of the dressing and put leave the other on the side. Toss the salad pretty quickly. So here is the salad and the pulled chicken. Trader Joe's used to sell those good quality organic air, air chilled chicken, but they all no longer sell these anymore which I think it's crazy. Maybe they think it costs too much, but the air chill chicken used to be in that blue packaging instead of the green packaging. However, they no longer sell it. I'm a little bit sad because I need my chicken to be high quality. And this one is actually a fan favorite. This is the Trader Joe's chicken breakfast sausage patties. And this one is listed as like the number three or something on the like part of the frozen food fan favorite after hash browns. I, don't, I think one time I showed it in one of my Shop With Me videos and you guys were like, it tastes so good! So I was like, thank you guys for the recommendation. I have to try it now. Here's the nutrition facts. Six patties in each one, and then this is based on like two patties per serving. Guys, the patties are actually bigger than I thought. The palm size. I thought it's minis, but it's actually bigger than I thought. It's pretty short time. For some reason, I just felt like three minutes, like a super short time. It's cold. Well, I'm not the one who made it. You made it. Let's put it back. Is it three minutes in the air fryer? Is it really three minutes? It, I, I double checked the instruction like 10 times. I actually heat up for another three minutes. I need to put it in like some sort of like, on, put some eggs on top and make an English muffin or something. And cheese on top, maybe. Tastes like an egg McMuffin sausage. Mm hmm. Actually, I, I think it often tastes better. I think this one tastes pretty good because it tastes clean. Okay, fine. Well, like I think the, the Mc egg muffin is too greasy. This one is not greasy at all. Well, that's because this is chicken and not sausage. It's, it's super light with nice flavor from, I think there's parsley, rosemary from there. Just like the big chicken sausage links, you know, hot dog thing that you buy there. It's just in a different form. Yeah, it tastes just like the other chicken sausage. Would products. I try this again? I th I think I will because it's how easy it makes. Eat this with my hash browns with some eggs. It's totally passable, but again, it just looks sad. It's not. There's no grill marks. There's no nothing. It tastes good though. It tastes juicy. Yeah, they're fine. Tastes good. So appearance wise, not your favorite. Right. Texture wise, not my favorite because it just tastes like you're eating rubber. But flavor is good. Flavor is good. Flavor is super good, but actually. the normal chicken sausage hot dog is way better. From Trader Joe's. Yeah. It better. tastes the same, but better texture. Organic smoked turkey breast. I bought two of them because 
Um, I've been trying to eat more protein and sometimes these packaged protein is a little bit easier to cook to eat compared to the raw chicken and stuff like that so I noticed that if I eat a lot of chicken a lot of protein I will produce a little bit more milk I'm still nursing so love that I got two of them I can eat a whole pack on my own by myself actually the next one is the Trader Joe's organic tofu I actually bought two packs of this because my husband is obsessed with mapo tofu these days so I got two of these Ta -da. my counter my kitchen counter is so full already it's also a Trader Joe's fan favorite list of 2024 goat cheese Ta -da. this is one of their fan favorite I personally am not a big fan of goat cheese I actually don't know if my husband likes it we're gonna try to see if it's actually worth it This is a repurchase, the Trader Joe's Shift Parmesan Cheese. Um, it's Parmesan cheese blend, but it's mainly Parmesan, I would say. It's really good and it's fair priced as well. Trader Joe's is so much cheaper than our local grocery store, HEB. HEB prices has gone up so much. And Trader Joe's, they went up their prices, but not by a lot. And this is a repurchase item. It's one of my favorite. This is the Trader Joe's Roasted Seasoned Brussels Sprouts with Parmesan cheese. It's from the frozen food aisle. It has olive oil in there. It's really good ingredients. I love this one. It's a little bit on the saltier side, more salty than I wish it was, but it has a really, really good flavor and it's super convenient. You just heat it up in the oven or stovetop, like so easy. This one has a lot of repurchased items. It's organic grass fat. This one is their 2%, but whole milk is a little bit better, I guess. But Trader Joe's, this one is $4.99, and I literally went to our local grocery store last week. It was $5.99. I basically saved $1 each car. So I bought five, so I saved $5, which is pretty good. I know. I'm a little crazy, but I just. I believe in Trader Joe's. If you try to drink matcha, I highly recommend get this one instead of the matcha latte because the matcha latte, if you look at that one, the first ingredient is sugar. There's more sugar than matcha in that one, but this is the pure matcha. I love this one. It's the best I've found in North America. And I got a Trader Joe's crunchy almond butter. I'm sad that it's not organic. I wish it's organic. I rarely found good crunchy almond butter on the market. And this one, it doesn't have any addi additives. It's just sea salt and almond butter you can also get the sea salt free the sodium free one um, but personally I feel like I, since I eat it for breakfast I need a little bit of salt to it this is their calcium magnesium zinc I love this one I've been taking it since I was pregnant I only take half of the daily dose so I don't over consume the calcium um, I've been taking magnesium because my um, doctor told me to do so and if you're nursing like if you notice a milk supply drop this should help I was debating if I wanted to try today or save it for the video but I'm so hungry right now so I have to try it so this one was actually listed as one of the Trader Joe's fan favorites in 2024. It's the Road Corn Tortilla Chips Chili and Lime Flavor. This one is basically a healthier dupe of Takis. Takis? However, it's still not healthy. It has vegetable oil, high oleic sunflower oil. This is still better than Takis because Takis has artificial flavoring artificial coloring uh, like msg like i would never eat takis ever again because how bad the ingredient is even though this one has like bad vegetable oil it's still better than artificial stuff this is what it looks like it tastes just like the taki it has very nice lime and spiciness to it it's not as spicy as takis i haven't eaten takis since like eight years ago, seven years ago. Love this one. I feel like the flavoring of this is, tastes way more natural than the Takis one. The Takis tastes like super artificial. This one, I can taste the flavoring is a little bit more natural. The lime flavor is more natural. Ooh, it salivates in my mouth. Ooh. And the spice flavor is more natural. Definitely there's no MSG in there. And you can taste the corn flavor from the tortilla chip. It's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. We got the Trader Joe's braided and sliced brioche. I use this one to make at semis. So good. Tastes so good. Your Trader Joe's apple cider. This one was rated as the fan favorites, like the best of the best in 2024. The ingredients are so good, right? This one doesn't have any bad ingredients or, or anything. 
It's 100% juice, which means like this one is actually really good, right? But it has 24 grams of sugar. Okay, you may say there's no added sugar. It should be good for you. It's natural sugar, right? All sugar is sugar. This one will spike your glucose like crazy. Um, I drink shakes but not juice. I would keep the fiber in there to slow down the absorption of sugar. The difference between fruit and juice or the smoothie and juice is that in smoothie and when you eat fruit, you actually eat the fiber and it slow down the absorption of sugar. This is like pure sugar. It's like sugar water with a little bit of vitamins in there. I normally don't drink juice but we're gonna try it to see if it's actually like the best of the best flavor. Do you like it? It's fine. I'd rather eat the green juice or the purple juice. You're not supposed to do that! Tastes good. Let me try it. I actually, I tried it in the store. I think in the store they sometimes heat it up too. You can Cheers. have it hot. You can have it hot. It actually tastes pretty good. Right, no, it's good. It's good. But it's... I'd rather have the green juice or the purple juice if I'm gonna buy weird juices from them. I think it's actually the best cider I've had from the store. For my purchase item, I got this rice cracker. I love rice cracker. And I always get three, but I don't think I finished all three of them last week. I'm trying not to snack as much, so I only got one. It's not the healthiest ingredients, but it's so much better than a lot of rice crackers out there. Uh, Flavor-wise, I like it. I did not like the vinegar ones, which is this one. I don't like this little circle thing. But other than that, I really like it. So I got another rice cracker from that link. Alrighty, that's it for today's Trader Joe's haul and taste test. Thank you so, so much for watching and taste testing and hauling all of my Trader Joe's purchase with me. If you have any recommendations, please down, comment down below. And also, I've done so many Trader Joe's taste test hauls. Check out my previous ones. Like if you're wondering, like, what does this one taste like? What does this one taste like? Chances are I already tried them. This is part of my job. Part of my job. I use it as an excuse to eat more food. So yeah, that's it for today. Um, put your recommendations down below in the comment section. What you recommend from Trader Joe's and what you think is the best product from Trader Joe's in the past year in addition to the list and do you agree to the list and that's it for today thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye